What's up guys, I'm back, and finally here we go, some more Army Men, Series 3, and this is episode 106. I know we're back up here again, but I promise next episode we'll be in a different spot. It's like a back to normal episode up here after the Christmas episodes. So this is my first Army Men episode of 2019. Jesus, almost two years that I've been doing this, because it was like back in June or July of 2017 when I started this series, Series 3. And I had breaks throughout the time. I still did plenty of episodes in 2018. Hopefully, throughout this year, I'll finish the series. Because I have less than 100 episodes to go, and this is episode 106. And as for the win streak count, I know you people keep saying, why do I keep bringing that up? I have to try to remember it, because it's like a major plot point in this series. Sid trying to get the highest win streak of at least 11 or 12. And he was close. His highest win streak's 8, which he broke his previous one of he got in season series 2 with... Five. Now he's at eight as his highest. Right now, though, he is at three in a row, trying to build it back up. If he wins this, he'll be at four. So, yep. Yeah, and I know I'm in a sweater. I mean, it was just a perfect day for it. I got this, like, a few days ago, and about a couple months back, I got sweatpants, too, which you kind of saw in the beginning angle, the little black so it's just a perfect time to dress up like that it's like cool cool outsides high is in like 60s so cool air out there and decided why the hell not but at least i do feel comfortable in this this thing is kind of big on me though i put it as a 3x i still usually wear like regular 2x shirts and i did not expect 3x to be kind of big on me like i'll actually stand up and show you like let me move this out of the way And I have it down. I mean, just look how big this thing is on me. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from the way it's angled. Hold on. Let me do it like... I know there's army men there, but you can still probably see through the middle parts. You can still see me. And I'll back up. I mean, just look how big this thing is on me. And then, just lift it up like that. You can see plenty bit more of the sweatpants. So... I know it's weird I keep showing new clothing I get. I know you people are probably wondering why. It's like, I don't know. It's just a habit. Because you never know. There could be that one person who asks, where'd you get that from? I've never seen you wear that before. Well, then I'd have to do it. But anyways, now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get on with this episode. Oh, crap. Little bucket in the way. In a bag. Yeah, I know our tree is still up. We're going to take it down eventually. All right, let's get on with it. And let's just see how this episode goes, because I already had something in mind for how this one's going to turn out to be. So anyways, excuse me. All right, we are back up here now for our next battle. Things are back to normal after Christmas. I'm at three wins in a row, going for four. You guys aren't going to stop me, because you ended it at eight. And I need to get to 11 or 12. I need to get further past that, so that way... By the time the end of the series comes, even if we do what happens at the end with the team up, then I'll still have the highest one overall. Well, come on, at least be happy that you broke your previous win streak of 5 and got to 8. Yeah, I am happy about that, David, but I didn't want it to end there. But anyways, let's see who's leading against me. Land on seven. So it's Nick. Nick's leading against me. Alright then, let's go. Something else I've noticed about you too, Nick, for these last few times, even when angry moments have been going on, you haven't been showing the genocide or Nick. What happened? He's still there. He just hasn't had a good chance of coming out yet. But he will eventually. That is if you piss me off enough in this one. Which we'll see about. Oh, you're on, man. Let's go. Yes, I win the first dice roll. Only one? That's how we're starting? <clears throat> Watch it, said. Oh, you want to do that, huh? Do you want me to do this already? No. Then stop it. Damn it. And watch you get a good number. Oh, you got a 1-2. Two. 
Well, okay then. Back to me winning it. It better not be a one. Oh my god! I want more than a one! And I also realized I forgot it again. The damn laser pointer sniper. I will remember in an episode eventually, you guys. I bet you're laughing at me for forgetting it so much. Not exactly. Well, you probably are thinking about it that way. Just come on, Sid. You got it now, let's continue. There will be an episode where I remember it, to grab it right around the beginning, so that way I don't forget. You don't want to start shit with me, do you? You want to die, David? No. I'm watching you. You pull any kind of crap, David, I'm going to kick your ass right now. Oh, what are you going to do when you lose, though, Sid? Are you going to do, like, a whole bunch of random shit and trash the place again, like that one meltdown? Yeah, if you guys remember back... Just to tell you viewers again, if you remember... Those of you who actually watched the series, you remember back in episode 69 when I did it in December of 2017 around Christmas, that huge meltdown? Yeah, I kind of had a feeling doing something like that vein again. Let's see how I can manage to make it work out in this. Because... It's been plenty of episodes, and every plenty of episodes of a stretch, there needs to be a rampage where it's a huge meltdown. I have a feeling this might be the episode. That is, um, if I can formulate the idea in my mind how it's going to go. Because, you know I do come up with some weird shit, so... Yeah. Won that dice roll. Four. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I should be getting numbers like that. Higher ones. I guess even a two would be okay, but not for every single roll. You know what? Let me move this lighter right here so I can have rolling room. Three of them. Two. Two of them. Five. What's going on with you guys? I've already taken out two lines and you've only killed one of my men so far the entire battle. I'm so gonna win. You're jinxing yourself. Fuck you, David. No, I'm not. Watch the next roll we win. Ha! You didn't win, bitch! For them, you're so gonna lose. Like, some else to bring up. And then there was an episode I remember doing back in series two where Sid suffered a huge loss and he had only killed three men on their side. It looks like that could be happening to them unless they start winning some rolls here. Because Sid doesn't have a lot of guys, but even with all the stuff that's been going on, even with a few men. Series 3 has probably been Sid's best performance so far. He's won a lot in this series, to be honest. So, Series 3 is his best performing one. Even with the fewer men, he's still a pretty strong unit now. He's built up. And he keeps winning rolls. Two. Guess it's okay to somewhat start getting lower numbers now. But go back up to higher ones when I put get you for HP. Two again. You guys are doing pathetic in this episode. What is going on with you, Nick? Hey, don't you be mocking me like that. I'm not mocking you. Yeah, sure, you come all over us like that Sid with your little moves, your little words trying to pick on us. You trounce on our men, you trounce on us. That's too much trouncing. five of them. Oh, shit. Three men left. You're gonna lose, Nick. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, stop it. What? 
thought you're used to me saying that whenever you're in the range. Well, sometimes it's going to get a little annoying, Sid. Well, that's my trademark. I'm written to say that every time I put you in the range, no matter which one of you fucks is leading. You better watch it. Hey, what are you doing? Put that down, Nick. That's my weapon! I can use it too. You want to use this? I can use it too. And if you want to use that laser pointer, then I use it too. Well, that's the first time you've taken the laser pointer. Yeah, it won't be the last either. Yeah, probably for you because someone else is going to use it. Doesn't matter. As us as a unit as a whole, right here on our side, we're going to be using it a bit. Oh, you got lucky there, because now you got to kill some of my men. Bitch. And it's six of them. Three men left. You're going to lose, Sid. We're going to beat you. Stop stealing my thing. I'm the one who trademarked it. Doesn't matter if you guys use it, it's owned by me. And me only. So the law mainly says I'm the one who has to say it, not you. Stop it right now, Sid. Oh, what are you going to do, Nick? You're going to bring him out? Of course, just had to pick the perfect time. Uh, writing of me having to mention it, and he's probably going to bring it out in this episode. But I'm still going to kick his ass. He's not going to kill me. Now I need to get the three before he dies. No, not four. Never mind, roll it back here because that guy's going to keep falling over. You better not get it. A one, I'm down to two. You're going to be so fucked if you beat me. Oh, why? Why is that? You don't want to know why. Because if you beat me, it's going to be terrible. I can guarantee it. It'll be Arma goddamn motherfucking Geddon all over this place. And more trashings of this home. So what, Sid? There's been destruction around here now. Well, we've done enough in this place, Nick, where this place is going to be considered a broken home. Look around you. Well, the place doesn't look like it's crumbling. It doesn't have to be that way. Just been so much stuff going on. These items around uh, us have made this little, these little areas a broken home. Now I need to get to three. I don't need four. You better not get the two. One. Great. Now you need another one. I'm so gonna kill you. No, you're not. Yes, I will. You watch me, you little bitch. I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, I got a one now, so now you're down to two. Do not get the one. Damn it! Alright, is it only me going in for HP or is Jack coming with me? Jack comes with me. Yep, and that means I get to bring Ian. Damn it. Jack's at 29. Oh, the King's card is out since at least one side of regular men is gone. So the King's card's effect is not going to try and be used in this one. Twenty-three, first guard check. You're not gonna get it. Oh, what was that? You said I wasn't gonna get it. Two, that's four. Now he's at nineteen. Get the two. Stop landing on four. Sixteen.
one. You're down to one. Eleven HP gain. Come on, Jack, land on it. He didn't. Now there's only one attempt left, and that's when I come in. Get the one. Yes! Alright, Nick and Ian, get your butts over here. And I'm going to use my first god check. And I got it, too. One, that's two. Damn it, Ian's at 28. Jack's at nine. Seven. Oh, regular double. Oh, Sid and Jack got it. Three at six. You're at 22, Ian. Oh, Jack's at four, he's in the range. You're 18, Ian. Regular double. Oh, Sid and Jack got it. Six, that's 12. You're at six. You're in the range now. Get the six. Oh, four, he's at two. Get the two. One, you're at one. And Jack's still at four. Get the one, get the one! Damn it. Do not get the four. You missed two. Yes, got him. There goes Ian. It's just down to you, Nick. Second guard check. Damn it! At least you're gonna keep missing. You're at 29, Nick. Three jacks at one. Twenty-seven. Damn it. Now it's just down to you and me. Alright, he has one guard check left. He has two. Second guard check. You failed to get yours. Now we're both at one guard check left. You're at 22, Nick. You're at 25, Sid. HP gain. Alright, Sid did not land on it. Oh, Ian didn't use his first attempt. Crap, so now both attempts are going to have to be used by Nick. Let's see. 25... 20... No, 25-22. You're at 21, Nick. I'm going to use my first HP gain. All right, Nick still has one attempt left for it. You're at 24, Sid. You're at 18 now, Sid. Thirteen. Final guard check. Sid did get it. Four, it's eight. They're both at 13 now. All right. And I'm going to use my last one. All right, so both are out of guard checks now. And Nick did get it. Two, that's four. I'm at nine. And I'm going to use my final HP gain. 
Nope, it was not landed on, so it's just straightforward barreling from here. The card wasn't used, the HP gains have been used, all the guard checks have been used. Sid still has his manipulations left, but it's not exactly time for, for him to use any yet. Let's see, 9-13. You're at 8, Sid. 11. Oh, regular double. Triple. Four times. Five times. Oh, Sid got it. Now he's at five times. So the only things he can land on is a one to take out five and a two to take out ten because Nick is at eleven. He, so Sid can only land on a one or a two to deal damage. And he didn't land on any of them. You're at five, Sid. He's in the range. Double. Alright. Sid's at five, and Nick won that double. He can get a one to take out two to put him at three, and a two to take out four to put him at one. So again, only a one or a two will deal damage. And he didn't land on it, but close. You're at nine, Nick. Six, you're in the range. Double. Now Sid can get a three to double S6 to win. I got it too! Yes! Three double to six, you're out, bitch. I win. Four wins in a row, baby, and I didn't have to use my manipulations in this one. That's it, you little tree monger, come here. Shit, <clears throat> let's fight. Fight me. Oh man, Kurt and Phil got knocked over. That's it. Suffer the children. You wouldn't. I would. Nick, because you've pissed me off for the last time. Don't do this. This is what you want. This is what you want. No. No. Stop it, Sid. Oh, come on, really? You want to keep doing that, huh? I'll just keep lining back up. You done pissed me off. Last time, Sid.
fine, man. I'll burn one of these little slobs up. Yeah, watch it burn. What good is that gonna do, Sid? Just burning paper like that. It's not like it's an important document of ours. Oh, really? I guess you viewers could kind of say what all the paper burnings I do. You could try and make these look like it's documents that are being burned, like info. Try and pretend that it is. That's a way of using your imagination. Oh. It almost touched my finger, but don't worry, it didn't burn it. Okay, that's it. Now I'll throw it away. Hold on, um, actually I can go ahead and try and clean this up now. I was going to pause it, but it's not a whole lot, so it won't take long. And yeah, I know there's plenty stuck on my sweater, but I'll get it off. So yeah, I know what you're all thinking of what I do, the crazy shit that I do things. So yeah, I'm a weirdo. I do what I can to provide my entertainment. So yeah. Pretty much got plenty of it up. Or, oh, he's still on the ground. And my shoe coming untied. The meltdown is coming up. You've really done it this time, Nick. Of trying to attack me like that. You realize what you're doing? Yeah, maybe I do. But. doesn't give you the right to do anything like that. So yeah, why don't you go around ruining someone else's life, Nick, instead of ruining mine? I just want a celebration to go normally without you having to ruin it for me and fuck it up. Because like I... T no, you... We told you about the trounce and Sid. Well, now I'm going to tell you. You try and trounce all over my winnings and my celebrations, that's too much trouncing to handle. And if you want to keep being like that, then you will die. I'm gonna die. Because you're not considered a part of their family. What? Where'd you get that info from? They told me. You did not tell him that. Did you, Kurt? No, I don't know why the hell he's making that up. You were trying to talk about him genocider and how he's being like that. He's not a part of the family. You leave him alone. You want to fuck with somebody and try and get on with them? Get on with me. Nick, just go back over there. You always got to start shit with everybody, Sid. Oh, that's what you think, David. No. We don't think that, we know. You think you can just get around getting away with everything just to think that you're the king of the world when you're not. You're not a fucking king. You'd be a tyrant. You'd bring nothing but tyranny to your people. And put them through slavery and death. I would not treat my own men like that, first of all, you little dickhead. Enough with the name calling too, we're getting sick of that shit. Well, it's a part of the series, that's a written law. You guys call me them too. And you don't say... You do say the stuff will stop calling me that. Little hypocrite. Well, I'm not a hypocrite. And you really think you have an answer for everything, don't you? Yeah? You really think you have an answer? 
Do you think you have your documents now? What are you talking about? You think you're gonna find your little shit now? Stop, Sid. No, I'm not. You want this place to be a broken home? It will be. Hey, you know what? I don't need this shit. So you can suck on it, Sid. Take your little winnings and shove it up your ass. Oh, yeah. Now you want to do it, huh? You want to get in on it, too? So, yeah. Get up all this crap. Why don't you help me clean up this crap then? Okay. You want me to? Fine. You can pick them all up with your ass. And start with the pointy things. God, David, you are a controlling bitch! You're a controlling bitch! Controlling bitch! I am not a controlling bitch. I just want you to learn your lesson on how to celebrate things and stop being such a little damn crybaby. The little whiny bitch. You want to further add any more to it? I'll fix it up then. Oh, believe me, Sid, you tried to fix your stuff a long time ago, but you never got your shit together. That's easy for you to say. Actually, no, I don't want to break that. We don't need to put up with this. What are you going to do, break that now over me? Who knows? Maybe. You think you got to try and satirize everything? You're the one who has to make a mess out of everything, Sid. Just look at the state of this now. Look at the mess over there. You did this shit too! I only did to try and prove my point. Well, if you, your point was to prove that you are a hypocrite and a jerk, then congratulations. That mess over there proves it. Not exactly. And if you want to continue starting shit with me, then you can go right on ahead and do that all you want. Because I'm not going to sit here and take this from you. You better go clean that mess up, Sid. You'll clean it up, because you threw stuff in there too. Really? Yeah. You know what? Pick that up too. Oh, you just hold it right there, Sid. No. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of you thinking you can do everything you can. I am right about you. You are a controlling bitch. You just have to think you're so perfect because you keep trying to win so much. And just look at how you're turning out. You're turning out to be a greedy little selfish bastard. Who can't even tell the difference between celebrating normally and being a big fat jerk. You best not. Oh, I am calling you it. Deal with it, Sid. He 
you know what? If that's how you're going to be, you should just walk away from everything and forget about this whole deal of battling. Why the hell should I? You think you can tell me what to do and you can't? Because you know why? Because you're selfish, David. That's all you are. You're a greedy little spoiled hypocrite who thinks he can get away with everything he wants just because now that you're the leader of this arc, you think you can do anything you want. Why don't you go around wrecking someone like Robert and Cameron's life instead of ruining mine? He doesn't really mean that, does he? No, he's just trying to make up shit because he's so fucking crazy he can't even think straight anymore. Good luck with your little winning, Sid, because we will seriously beat you next one. And you're not going to get away with this. Oh, yes, I will. You watch me. Consider your ass dead for all that you've done. You and your little ragtag bunch of friends are nothing but a bunch of no-good cheaters. That's all you are. Well, you're the one who's been winning. You keep trying to do everything. Remember, Nick tried to use that laser pointer? And he took out one of my men? You still won. That doesn't matter. The fact is, you are trying to cheat. You're stealing my weapons. And if you end up accidentally misusing that, Nick, you're going to get yourself killed. Let me set that straight for you. And thanks to you, Sid, I am going to bring out Genocide or Nick. And now, yeah, David has to, but you really have to clean this up too because you're the one who started this whole ordeal. You better clean this shit up. Like hell I will. You better. You better clean it up, Sid. Or else what, Nick? What the fuck are you going to do about it? You're going to bring him out and try and attack me? Yeah, you know what? Here comes bitch. Hey, stop it! This is all we fucking do now. The series just isn't the same anymore. What are you talking about, David? We always fight. Yeah, battle-wise, but not every single episode of older series, or even the beginning of this series, was it like this. We've gone over the top and over the border. This is just going to get way out of hand. What if we get taken down because of this? The video ain't getting taken down. Just because of a bit of violence. They're not going to do that to us. Well, it's becoming major violence. You're doing little burnings. You're trashing the fucking place. What has gotten into you, Sid? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck all of you. I'm sick of you guys controlling me on all my celebrations. You think I can't do shit? You better get that out of my face, or else what? You'll... Mm. Mm. I've had it with all of you fighting each other like this. Sid. All you can do right now is just get the fuck out of here. And leave us. No. Why should I?
You try and abandon me and leave me behind, David. You will be nothing without me. Start cleaning up right now, or I will hit your ass. You're not a parent, you're not gonna do this spanking shit! Just go. We don't even want to look at you right now. You spoiled little fucking ingrate piece of shit brat. Who thinks he has to get away with everything he can to win? That's not true. You don't know shit about me. Yes, we do. Now go! Come on, let's get out of here. He can clean up his part of the deal and we'll clean up ours. A little final scene with Jack and Sid. I'll make them... I'll clean it up off screen like they actually cleaned it up when I end the episode. But I'm going to show a little bit of it. I don't know if you can exactly see how it all looks with it right there, but I'm going to show it. First, scene between Sid and Jack. Jesus. It, what? I kind of knew this was coming anyway, that... We'd have a huge meltdown, and we did. We'll start cleaning it up, our part, and they'll clean up theirs. But I'm so sick of these assholes thinking they can control us just because we win. We're at four wins in a row, they got nothing. And we're going to keep proving them wrong. We're going to win. Alright, so let's really pack it up and clean it up. Alright, and that's it with that, and I'm going to show a little mess first before I end it. Yeah. You could say that that one episode of Roseanne kind of inspired me. You know where Dan and Roseanne, they argue about the kids and eating right. And then they trash the house like Roseanne knocks all the food off the table. And um, Dan throws the decorations off the shelf, flips the table over. And then Roseanne throws the, the Godzilla figure at the TV. You could say that kind of inspired me to do this one. But I have to say, pretty well done with this one. So... Make that the first major meltdown of actual mess destruction like this since the 69th episode. And this is episode 106. That was 37 episodes ago. Alright, but anyways, that's with that. And for Army Men, I'll see you guys next time for episode 107.